Hey guys, it's Crackhead Joe. Welcome back to my channel. Don't be alarmed by my appearance. We're doing a lip swatch video today and it, we're doing lip tints. So the easiest way to wear a lip tint if you have a deeper skin tone is to blank out your lips first with a concealer. So today I use the Laneige Cushion Concealer because it is the whitest color I own. If you guys want to see me apply this all over my face, just click the video there it's 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 very frightening so I'm gonna be looking crazy for a little bit while I talk about these lip tints but it's okay so today I'm going to be reviewing these babies these are the 3CE velvet lip tints I haven't tried all of these colors yet I have been really really obsessed with this one which is near and dear I've been wearing this like every day I got tons of compliments on it it's my favorite one so far, but I've been so obsessed with this one that I haven't really tried the other ones yet. So um, I'm going to try all of these today. I only have six of the colors. There's like 12 colors or something now. Like they, I, think, I feel like they keep adding colors. So I'm going to start off with my favorite color, Near and Dear. Um, so a color like this is usually very intimidating to people with darker skin tone. They look at it and they're like, wow, that is way, way way too light for me but don't be intimidated by these lighter colors like I said blanking out your lips is a great way to get the real pigmentation of the color if you're going for a very natural look um, you can use a brown liner in order to really make this look flawless and natural on a dark skin tone I'm just going to start applying to the center of the bottom lip and as you guys can see, there's not a lot of pigment coming out. That is the nature of a lip tint. So don't expect this to be super pigmented. So I really love these lipsticks because they're super blendable and they're velvety soft. So this is what the color Near and Dear looks like. It's just a very soft pink color. It's very innocent looking, very sweet. Innocent girl days where I pretend like I'm a good person. <laughs> And this definitely isn't a shade that you would normally recommend to someone of my skin tone. So that just goes to show that there are no limitations to makeup and you can make anything work for you. So don't be afraid to gravitate towards lighter colors, thinking that you might look too ashy. Definitely try to explore makeup some more. Don't feel like you have to be restricted to a certain type of color just because of your skin tone. The next color that I have here is Pink Break. Um, so like it's described, it's very pink. This one is much darker. If you compare the two, Pink Break is much darker than Near and Dear. So this one is a lot rosier. Ooh, girl, I'm feeling this one. Yes. This one is a lot more of a rosy color. You ever just stare at your own reflection and be like, damn, girl, I'm fine. No, just me. Okay. Sorry. I'm noticing with the formula for these, um, it's best if you put on two to three layers, three layers maximum. Um, otherwise, it can get a little bit cakey. But I'm, I'm so in love with the velvety finish. It's super comfortable. I've worn these on nine hour shifts and they're so comfortable and easy to wear and very easy to reapply as well after you eat. Because they are lip tints, they are going to transfer just like yeah, I look like Black Borby right now, okay? Once again, another color that you would think a uh, black girl can't wear that. Wrong. The next color that I got is called Go Now. And this one is, um, sort of has like a purple undertone to it, um, but it is still like a pink color. So let's see what this looks like on. I think I might have tried this once. Uh, no, I don't think I ever tried this one. I think I swatched it. The thing I hate about doing lipstick swatching videos is the makeup around my mouth just gets completely fucked up. <laughs> it reminds me a little bit of uh, Wendy Brown from the Red Velvet Etude House collection. So as opposed to these ones here, they are very similar, but this one is definitely more of like a cool tone shade and these ones are more warm so these are more pink and this one is more purple next color I'm gonna be trying is called no better now this one is a really dark purpley shade compared to the last one 
much darker. I noticed with a lot of um, lipsticks, the darker shades tend to be formulated better. Though the lighter shades are formulated completely, totally fine. I just notice with the darker shades, there is more of a smoother formulation. Oh yeah, that is intensely smooth. Oh my god. That's my favorite formulation so far. Oh my god, that went on smooth like butter! Oh, honey! Oh, Lord of mercy. Oh my god. I am shooketh. Shooketh. This is gorgeous. I just want to apply 800 layers of this one. Oh my god. It's so soft. And it smells like Dunkaroos. I'm really sad now because I want Dunkaroos and I don't have any. <laughs> I've been blessed by the 3CE gods. All hail Style Nanda. Yeah, so this is uh, my favorite so far in terms of formulation. Okay, so this color is like a bright orangey red tone color and it's called Save Me. So let's see. Never tried this one. Looks very bright. Okay, so because it's a lip tint, it's coming out more, like a lot more muted, and it's more peachy than orange. It's like really misleading, the tube. I don't know if it's just the way it looks on my skin tone, but it's definitely more peachy than orange. It's like an orangey peach, but it's not like that bright orange that you think it's gonna be when you look at the tube. So the formulation for this one is similar to the um, other lighter shades that I tried. Uh, so you do need maybe like three layers. So this is a really, really cute color. Oh my god, guy. <laughs> I feel so summery. This is like the perfect summer shade. It's so peachy. Ah! It's like an orangey peach color. I'm looking like a tangerine dream right now. <laughs> the more I look at it, the more I like it. Ew. Ew. I keep this one on just skip the rest of the video just can I keep this one on please and the last color that I got from the collection is called private <laughs> I look so dumb with my lips like this I've actually worn this before and I really like it so I'm just gonna show you guys yes hunty and this formula is very similar to the other dark shade that I had. The formulation is so smooth I put a hundred layers of this thing on like looking at the tube you wouldn't think that it's a rosy red color, but it is. So if you're looking at the tubes and you're thinking that's gonna be too dark, the tubes are very deceiving. So that is what the color Private looks like. It is a really cute stain, but I do prefer my reds to be more pigmented, but this is a really nice tint as well. And that's the end of my lip swatch video, guys. Yay! I love these. I wanna get more colors. Um, I really want the color Daffodil. I was gonna get it, but it was sold out when I was buying all of these, so so sad so that's in my basket right now next paycheck <laughs> all going to yes style uh let me know what you guys want me to buy and review leave it in the comments below like right now guys because i need to know i need to know what to buy and that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it i hope you go pick some of these colors up and i will see you guys in the next video i love you so 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 much Oh, it's just so, it's full.